I'm Kat and this tutorial is how to do a full mercury glass finish using Krylon Looking Glass Mirror-like Spray Paint. This bottle I actually had to have the local hardware store order because nobody carries it. I looked everywhere in California, I guess it's just really hard to find. So it was about $13, they ordered it. They only had these small little spray cans available, not really sure why, so you'll need that. You'll need some kind of a glass surface that you can spray on the opposite side of because whatever side you want your finish on, you're going to spray on the opposite side of the glass. So I sprayed the inside of this. You'll also need a spray bottle with just plain filtered water or if you don't have a spray bottle available, you can dip your fingers into the water and just kind of flick it on the surface instead of doing the spray thing that I'll show you how to do in the tutorial. Um, so this is how that looks. I did this one. It's just a little jar for my pencils. I put a ribbon on it. It's mirrored but it's kind of funky because it has that mottled finish inside. It's not perfect which is really why I like mercury glass. Now this it's not quite like the sepia tone that most actual mercury glass is but I just I like the silver look of it so that's fine. I also did oh my lampshade fell off. I did this lamp. I love lamp. So I did that lamp and then oops, I did a couple of um, little candle holders that I have back there on my dresser and I did actually go outside and try and um, light this on fire to make sure it wasn't flammable and it didn't catch fire so it should be safe for any of your candle holders that you might want to make. So here's how I did it. The first thing you're going to need to do is shake your spray paint for two minutes straight. Now I've already done this and you will need to reshake it before each use. So on this lamp, I did have a different type of paint in it initially and I used turpentine to get it out so it's kind of got some funky stuff going on but that's the best I can do. So first you're going to spray a little bit of the spray paint into your glass container. Try not to get any on the outside. And since it is in an enclosed space, it is going to pull up a little bit in there. So I just kind of let it smear around inside and coat it as best as I can. Then spritz it with a little bit of water. Now the water is what's going to give it the mercury glass effect. Then dump out any excess that's kind of pooling up in there. And give that about 10 minutes to dry. So this has been sitting here for about 10 minutes and you can see you're starting to get that shiny, streaky look. But it's not quite as opaque as I want it yet. So I'm going to spray it a second time. Now this effect would work a lot better if you had a flat surface that you could just set down and spray this on. But because this is in a round object, it pulls up and there isn't a lot of airflow in there either. So that keeps it from drying quickly. But we'll just do the best we can. So again, coat the inside with the paint and then go after it with a spritz of water. Now if you are doing this on a lamp yourself, then you want to make sure that you put some masking tape over the electrical components, which I've already done ahead of time. And then we'll let that sit for a little bit longer to dry. product in outdoor light. Feel your, feel your